I have nothing to be embarrassed about. I have nothing to be embarrassed about. But then I ask myself, why have I kept this a secret? Why have I kept this a secret? Because it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I love The Sims. I love The Sims. That is my big secret surprise. You can click off now. Just kidding. But I have no problem with gamers. I think it's a great hobby as long as with any interest that there's balance. we got to do the whole grown-up thing, you know, brush our teeth, get our sleep, eat healthy, move our body. I get that game you know, little heart out. But don't forget the other important things, okay? Health is the most important thing. And is a part of health is having fun also. Gaming, yes, we get that. And I've been wanting to say this out loud for so long. I've hinted about my interest for The Sims on social media, a little bit on TikTok, on Instagram. But I don't know if I've ever said it, said it on YouTube. And it feels so freeing. It feels so freeing to say that I love The Sims. I love The Sims. I love The Sims. I am. I love The Sims. And I think, and this is no hate on anyone. This is just me. It's like I'm a grown woman, but I've been hiding it because honestly, I've been embarrassed. Of what? Of what? I mean, there's more intense games out there like Counter-Strike, if that's still popular, World of Warcraft, and then there's Little Sims, <laughs> you know, and it feels so nice saying it out loud because it really floats my boat. I love it. I think it's so cute. I can dream away and it's not that strange. I am a creative girly and on The Sims you create build houses, design it, design the sims, create stories and yeah I just love it and if I, I want you guys, I want you guys that are watching this, my community, new viewers, old viewers, all that, I want you to know who you're watching. I am just, I'm not just a mumpreneur, I'm not just that you know, I am a mum, I have my goals with my business and with my wellness, but I also have hobbies and I do have an inner child that still loves The Sims. That is my inner child. My journey with The Sims was, I think I was about 12 years old. My mom's boyfriend at the time, he's like basically a dad to me. We still are very close. He came home with a CD and I had no idea what it was. He started it, showed it a little bit and I was hooked. I was hooked on the very first Sims TV, uh, Sims CD and my sister and I, we would take turns. We had a timer, I'd play 15 minutes, then it would be her turn. I'd play 15 minutes and then it was her turn. And I just loved it. I don't know what it was. It was like pay, playing Barbies or Polly Pockets, but on a screen. And when it comes to gaming, the very first game I played was the very first Super uh, Mario Brothers game on the very first Nintendo and I thought that was great. I played that, it was Donkey Kong, okay, back to The Sims, but it was something about just manifesting through a game, something like that. I was the most boringest Sims player as a kid. I did everything by the book. I always played with Bella Goth. What am I saying? I'm completely lying. Sorry, I just got flashbacks, back, flashbacks when I drowned people <laughs> in the pool, but I very, I played very buy the book in the beginning, go to work, go to work. I had that same business suit outfit, like a light pastel green outfit. If you know what I'm talking about, please comment down in the section below which outfit I'm talking about. No, I didn't play Bella Goth. I played a girl that looked like Bella Goth. Short hair, fringe, I'm going to put it on the screen. This is my FaceTime vlog video, so I'm trying to keep editing to very minimal because this is just me babbling. So welcome to the FaceTime vlogs, everyone. Anywho, and then when I got bored playing by the book, I would kill off people. And I'm gonna admit it, I'm a good person. I'm a good person, but I've gotten rid of one or two infants on Sims 1. Please don't judge me, please don't judge me, please don't judge me. Anywho, present day, or not present day, going on with my Sims journey. Time goes so fast, I think it was like, 13 years ago, I was at a electronical store and saw a Sims 3 being sold. And I bought it, put it on my laptop at the time and didn't understand it. Gave it a few shots. I don't know why it didn't stick, but I understand the charm with Sims 3 now. I don't know why it didn't stick then. 
when it comes to The Sims 1, I just have to finish off that. I played that like religiously for a year and then I don't know, something else happened. And then Sims 3 was like, yeah, 13 years ago. Sorry, I'm very messy right now, but this is FaceTime Vlogs. And Sims 3 it didn't see, stick, but I understand. I understand. I understand. I've seen some videos on YouTube about Sims 3, Sims 3, and the open world and what you can do and the freedom with Sims 3 compared to Sims 4. I understand the, the um. The, the hype, the hype is the right word. Okay, when it comes to the Sims 4, my journey with the Sims 4 was um four years ago. I was pregnant and I had to leave off work. I had to leave work earlier because I couldn't hack it anymore with my physical issues and my job at the time was very physical and it was very random I was on YouTube an evening and then a Sims 4 video came up on my screen and I was like what is this voodoo magic what is this you can do this on the Sims and at the time I had no idea about mods I never I've never played with mods and I was just hooked. I was watching so many Sims Sims 4 videos that whole evening. I was up so late from Carmen King's videos to Sienna Miller's videos. It was those in the beginning to Wicked Pixels to, 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 tutorials to um, D Sims to oh, some. I've got so many other Ocean Sims, but it was just I was just I was on a high that night. Um, and I'm like, I just have to buy it. I'm at home. Why not? I'm on my third trimester. Why not? And I just lost it. I was playing Sims so much on my third trimester that I lost all focus on reality. I was up till six in the morning. <laughs> when I should have been moving my body more, preparing for the birth, which I did, I did. I did, okay, please, you know, I did do what I could, but I got so distracted with The Sims 4. I bought pack after pack after pack, and I was on YouTube learning about all the tricks and all the um, all the cheats and all the mods. And if you've ever been pregnant, please write down in the comments below. Wicked Whims was so much fun when I was pregnant. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. <laughs> <coughs> it was so fun with my pregnant hormones. Please comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever been pregnant and playing The Sims with WW, okay? And the reason why I'm being so brutally honest, which I am on my channel, I am. But I want you as the viewer, my community, the audience to know who I am. This is me. This is a part of me. It's not only me. It's not only me, but I just want to be the non-niche youtuber that I am if you're gonna vibe with me I want it to be for it because you like me you know I don't want no people pleasing or chasing I want to attract people that vibe with me how does the song go I want you to match my freak is somebody gonna match my freak yes I know if you know that song write that write that in the comment section below okay tiktokers you know Somebody gonna, is somebody gonna match my freak? Anywho, so that's me. That's my little secret. Wow, so exciting, Christina. But it is, it is. And honestly, I do want to bring Sims to my YouTube channel also. I want to have a playlist where, or even a, a separate channel. We'll see. But if other YouTubers can, there's, there's a drag queen. What's his name? He. Oh my god, Juno. The Juno show. He's a she she is a beautiful drag queen sharing makeup, sharing vlogs, sharing her travels, sharing being on shows, but even sharing you Sims videos on her YouTube channel. If she can be so mixed niched, I can too. I can too. I want you to see all sides of me. Not only the entrepreneurial Goal because this is this video is to inspire you, inspire you to be true to yourself, even though it's so cringy or if you feel like it's so geeky. What matters is what you think of yourself and what I need to think of myself. So, I have guys, I have challenges already. I have challenges already for Sims 4. 
Oh, let me just explain that. Then my daughter came. I played a little bit of Sims. The first few months, like not as intense, obviously, with a newborn. And I got back into Sims 4 at the start of this year. Played for a few months. Stopped at, at April. Because it's just a lot when you have a really crappy laptop. <laughs> and all the other personal things. I do have my online business. I do have my dreams with chasing... Um, being a content creator on YouTube and all that but I just want you guys to know that I'm manifesting this because I'm putting it out in the universe because I do want to be a streamer also I have challenges already that I've tested out that I think are going to be so good for the sims community and let me tell you this I don't know all about sims I don't know the whole drama between Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth, like, I mean, I've got so much to learn about The Sims, but I want to learn about The Sims, which just, I don't have the time. But I have challenges already ready, and I would love to stream that, go live streaming, build a community there also, and yeah, show that side of me, my funny side of me when it comes to The Sims, because I love different types of gameplay. I love the soft life, you know, really living by the lo uh, by the book, and then there's the other side of me when I play The Sims, when I when I just want pure chaos. Oh my goodness, those are my favorite because I don't want real drama in my life. I'll keep it on my Sims Four, okay? So yes, I if you vibe with me, that would be great. But I'm not forcing you to to do anything you don't want. I hope. <laughs> my goodness, what am I saying? But it feels so good letting that out and. Man, I want to play The Sims. Like I said, I haven't played it played it since April. But when you have a full-time job, a three-year-old, and it's like excuses, but it's just how it is. But I would so love to do that. So I'm manifesting it. When I become a full-time content creator, YouTuber, then I could do my little Sims ch channel, Discord, Twitter, Twitter, Twitch, um... And um, share my top secret challenges. More secrets. And um, yeah. Sul Sul. I don't know how to say goodbye. On, in Simlish. But um, say Sul Sul. 